Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 483 of the Aspirations Challenge, and likely the episode where baby number three will be born. Looks like, um, yeah, she's already in her third trimester, so pretty much giving birth at any moment now. It's 8.30 in the evening. She's already quite tired. Hold on, what's all this? Um, okay, does Boris need to be brushed, or... <laughs> Uh, like there's smelly pet hair. I don't think I've ever seen the pet hair go smelly before. That's different. Uh, okay, we're going to give Boris a little bit of love because he apparently needs it. Eric is just having a moment up here. He's trying to fix the gramophone and it's not going well. He looks like he's about to um, have a bit of an angry outburst and we all know what that looks like for a werewolf. Uh, meanwhile, Neoma is playing with her toys and I think um, Farkas is just kind of hanging out. So everybody is just, I mean, everyone's kind of just hanging out. But at the same time, Vera and Eric look like they're ready to go to bed. So I think I'll actually send her to bed. And then when he's done, I'm going to watch him and make sure he actually finishes this. I don't know that he will, but uh, he needs to have some fun. We'll focus on that later. Death is inevitable. Eric knows that. Eric just didn't think that he would be thinking about it so soon. Please don't think about death. We already lost one baby daddy. <laughs> I don't want the other one to die. Um, especially since this child is not even born yet. At that point, I would pretty much consider this to be a curse. Uh, Farkas has gone to sleep. Everyone's just really tired, I guess. I thought starting at 8.30, um, they wouldn't be like super tired, but... I guess they are. Uh, so in the last episode, or I guess a couple episodes ago, I had asked you guys if anyone knew what the adopt um, um, option was. So Eric, that pops up for Eric whenever he's interacting with either one of the kids, it'll say uh, adopt. And I'm not really sure, I wasn't really sure what that meant, if it would like remove them from the family tree or remove them from uh, being considered Vera's child. I mean, obviously, biologically, they will always be her children. But uh, yeah, I was kind of concerned, like, what would happen if I were to do that? Uh oh, it looks like Eric is about to, uh, yeah, do that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know what? Just You just have your little angry outburst. Um, speaking of bursting, she really needs to go to the washroom and then go to sleep. Um, so yeah, and Sabrina did actually comment with some information about the whole adopt thing. Uh, it says adopt is a new feature that came with growing together and it's really sweet. It's for blended families. And if you have Eric do it, he can do this for both kids. It basically makes him their stepfather. It doesn't remove them from the family tree. Um, hold on, I just want to keep an eye on what he's doing. Uh, scratching a log. Okay, well, you just knock yourself out. Um, <laughs> I discovered this recently when my sim married a woman who already had a toddler. I clicked on the option because I it I thought it was the ad as caregiver thing. That's also what I thought it was as well. Um, when my sim pulled out a sheet of paper and read off something, um, oops, it just went, the comment just went away. <laughs> Uh, and then I got a pop-up saying that the toddler was officially a griffin and he was included on the family tree. Maybe if Vera and Eric get married, this could be an option for him to do. Doesn't seem right at the moment, though. Okay, I actually agree because, I mean, as much as I would love to see that happen for this family at some point, um, maybe we're not quite there yet. And it, not just because they're not married, but because... Um, I feel like he needs to bond with them a little bit more. I really want that to mean something if he were to adopt them. And also because, I mean, Riot hasn't been gone for that long. And also, I think to be a step parent is more, I mean, someone who, as someone who has had um, multiple step parents, because my mom's been married a few times, um, to me, it just, it means more than, I, I, I think you have to earn it. Like, just simply being married to the mother or father of a child does not make you automatically a parent. I really feel like you have to earn it and create a bond. And I really want Eric to do that. So yes, if they were to get married, he would be technically a step parent. But um, I don't know, I think it would be kind of special if he were to adopt them. Um, but at the same time, I'm conflicted because of Riot. I mean, it doesn't make Riot less of their parent. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm looking way too much into this, but um, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Um, okay, Neoma and Farkas are both awake. 
I think Neoma's going to be a teenager soon. Six more days. Um, and yeah, we're waiting on this baby today. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but I do have names for both. So I'm ready when they are. Oh, okay, you are fully going to pee yourself. Please hurry. And we'll have um, Eric come and grab some leftovers as well. This is one of my least favorite things in the game. When a sim will grab food out of the fridge and then just stand in front of the fridge so nobody else can use it. <laughs> it's so rude. Can you please step aside? Okay, Eric doesn't care. He does not care. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend some time getting Eric to bond and build a relationship with both of the kids so that when it does come time for him to possibly adopt them, it feels like he earned it and it feels like it means something. Um, because, yeah, I mean, eventually I do plan on them getting married, so he will become a step parent no matter what, but to actually adopt them would be a whole separate thing. Okay, Eric, um, how come you didn't eat those pancakes? Unless those weren't his. I don't know. I don't know what he grabbed out of the fridge. Um, they also both have pack warnings. Uh, so I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm sick of the packs. I think we're going to leave the packs. I've been saying it for a while. Also, we have some broken appliances. Eric hates fixing things, but kind of has to do it anyway. Looks like we're having some very light flurries. It's starting to snow. Um, and okay. Uh, are they going to school today? It's a Tuesday. So yeah, they'll be heading to school pretty soon. Um, I apologize that I do sound a little bit sick. I'm actually just finally getting over this cold. Um, we went to California um, for like five or six days. And uh, it was like a, a Disneyland vacation. And Disneyland has a lot of kids and a lot of germs. And <laughs> we were very careful with hand sanitizer and just like taking all the steps and all the precautions. But unfortunately, I did get sick. Um, while I was at Disneyland, so I'm just getting over that now. All right, these are all watered and everything has been sold. Looks like she needs to go to the washroom. I'm going to have Neoma and Farkas make friends at school today. I feel like I'm just patiently waiting on this baby. Eric is, he just desperately wants to have some fun. And this is so not his idea of fun. Tala is hungry. Where is Tala? Okay, well, there is food. <laughs> I mean, it's not a lot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not, please, please not Luca. Is it Luca? Grover. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think this means that Luca has died. He has. Oh, no. Okay, but hold on. Oh, that sucks. So in the, at the end of the last episode, I had said, you know, Luca is getting older and maybe it'd be a good time to have him over for like a family dinner. And that was fully my intention. I may have even put it in the calendar. Um, okay, no, I didn't. That's good. <laughs> good because that did, those dinner plans have officially been ruined. Um, but why would Grover be adopted? Also, another thought... <laughs> Um, I'm just, I'm just confused. Why would Grover be adopted if his wife is still living there? <gasps> She's not. She's dead too. How long has she been dead for? I don't even know. I, okay, hold on. Did we already have this knowledge? I don't recall Masaki dying. I really don't. I honestly feel like last time I checked... Both Masaki and Luca were alive and well, and now they're dead. And I feel like we should take in Grover. Is that crazy? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that would fill up our household, unfortunately. But I don't know. I feel like I feel kind of sad that Grover is just sitting in the shelter. <laughs> you guys know me and my weak spot for dogs. Call adoption agency. So is that? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, that's not just for kids. Let's just see if Grover is in there, because that makes me kind of sad. Um, okay, he's not. And that's good. But then, I mean, I look at all these sad cats. Uh, so, I don't know what happened to Grover. It said he... What did it say? 
it's gone now. But I don't know. I just felt I felt sad for Grover. Now I just feel sad for everyone because clearly um, we are not going to be having the dinner party that I had planned. Uh, or do you really want to be reading? I feel like you don't. Let's have him go to the washroom. Uh, magical moon symbols glow around the edge of the page from Eric's lunar epiphany. Oh, okay. Um, okay, as we're, in regards to the club thing, like, what do we do? Do we just leave? Honestly, the club doesn't mean anything to me anymore. It did in the beginning because, um, it, it was a place for Vera to, to belong, I guess. But she doesn't really feel the need to do that anymore. Also, it was just a part of the aspiration that we kind of had to do. And now that that's not the case, I feel like we can leave the, the pack. Uh, actually, Eric, can we dry some laundry, maybe? I'm going to have these two woohoo because uh, he really needs to have some fun. And, like, what better way? So let's have them woohoo. Oh, wait, she's too sad. I could maybe have, oops, no, don't, don't sleep. I could have him initiate that because um, she's still mourning the death of, I mean, I'm not even sure who it was that died. Um, just today, like we got the notification about Grover having to um, go to a new home because nobody was alive anymore in his household. But I'm not sure if that was for Masaki or for Luca because as far as I knew, they were both still alive. So I am a little confused about that. Um, let's go take, bathe like a beast. Okay, we could do that. In the meantime, we're going to get caught up on some laundry. Back into the laundry grind. It was so long since I had played with laundry. I actually do enjoy playing with laundry because it's, it adds a bit of realism to the game. Uh, the, the major downfall is that these appliances are so crappy and they constantly break down. Um... But it's still fun. If, I mean, if they don't break down, it's fun. Um, but other than that, it's just, yeah, it's annoying when it's constantly needing to be repaired. I don't even know if it's worth it, but. Okay, so we're going to wash this. Oh, goodness, that is loud. That is very loud. Um, Eric is on pack probation. You know what? No. <laughs> it's like, it's in the red now for the diplomacy. And that's like the le my least favorite thing, honestly. Uh, there is... Lou Howell. I believe this is actually a friend of his. Did I hear the sizzle of something broken? Do we know this guy? I think we do. He wants to come fix something. Which I'm fine with. Um, is she also pack participation? So we are supposed to be like bringing um, supplies to the pack. Which I guess we could do. There's really no benefit though of being the pack leader. That's what I find. Oh, Vera has gone into labor. Okay. Let's go have this baby. Let's have Eric be present for this birth. And then, yeah, I've got my names ready to go. Both boy and girl. I, I don't remember if we checked the gender or not in the last episode. If we did, I forgot. <laughs> Um, okay, and now my other problem is I forgot what Eric's last name is. This is brutal. I think it's Elling Moon or something like that. This is a problem for me. The same thing happened when she had um, Neoma because I couldn't remember what Riot's last name was. And I actually gave her the wrong, I gave it like Ravenwood, but it was Raven Moon or something. Uh, so I had to change it when she was a toddler, which may be the case for the, for this baby as well. Um... I'm going to go with Ashina, and that means she-wolf. Okay. And it's just one baby, so we love to see it. Uh, Elling Moon. Elling Moon. Okay, I did get the name right. That part is very important. Okay, she's officially a mom of three. I mean, this is like, this is what she always wanted. She just wanted a big family. Um... And I feel like they'll probably have more, maybe. I don't know. Am I getting <laughs> a little ahead of myself? I do. I want them to get married as well. So that is also something I am thinking about. Uh, I've been trying to get her to cook, but it didn't work last time. So actually, let's have 
Um, Eric, go make some chicken sliders. Um, looks like Neoma is feeling sad. Farkas is also feeling... Oh, they're both sad because their grandparents have died, which makes perfect sense. Um, from losing a grandparent. So I'm assuming that this is about Luca and not Masaki because I don't think Masaki would register as a grandparent for them. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that's how it works. Um, where are you going? She's going to go nap on this bench. Okay. I mean, if you really needed the outdoor nap that badly. Did you seriously not make the food? This is wild. <laughs> I keep getting my sim telling my sims to cook and they don't. I'm thinking like, did he maybe cook and then put the food down somewhere? But I don't see it. He just, oh, hold on. Please resume. What is going on? Like, why? <laughs> why are you struggling so much? They've never had a problem cooking before, and now... Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. I'm just going to get rid of a few clutter items, because I feel like that is probably what's stopping us. I don't know. Okay, this countertop has nothing on it. You should be perfectly fine. Okay, weird. They just <laughs> they just kind of decide that they are not able to cook anymore. Uh, let me just see if Vera has published all of her books. I think she has. I feel like we're doing pretty good for money. We've got 18,000 in reserve. Lonely recess. Oh, that's cute that she's like asking him questions. Ask for advice. Um, join cooking. I mean, I would never ask for advice from someone literally wearing these shoes, but whatever. And then we'll also share a secret. I don't know what that secret would be. Join cooking. I do love that. Um, and I've, I feel like I've done it before, but I don't even really know what that interaction looks like. Uh, I do, I love that he can make food and she can talk to him while he's doing that. The multitasking is really good. Join cooking, call names, adopt as caregiver. See, I mean, both the kids are coming to him for their advice and problems. Sparkus is asking him um, to help him with the problem he's having. I think that's a really good sign that they, like, trust Eric and um, see him as, like, a, a role model. This is the longest cook time ever. <laughs> Seriously, it's crazy. I mean, it's chicken. You want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. I get that. Everyone's patiently waiting. Okay. Okay. Everybody can grab a plate. Actually, Eric's not even hungry, but the kids are. So they can grab a serving. And then I'm going to have Eric go to the washroom. And I guess he should go bond with his daughter, who he hasn't even really acknowledged. Change outfit. You know, I never really do that. Let's do that. I guess I, 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 guess I probably do. It's just that it seems so new. Okay, did everybody grab food? What's this? Bison stew. What? <laughs> I did not tell you to grab that. Uh, okay, so Farkas is eating, and then I'm going to have him go upstairs and play dolls, because he needs to have some fun. And I guess so does Neoma. I'm going to have her go outside and play on the swings. And then this can go in the fridge. I like that they don't even bother sitting at the table. They just scarf it down. Um, should we maybe have Vera do some writing? She's not super tired. Um, and I do want her to continue writing. Neoma means new new moon. That's the book that we're currently working on. Okay, please trust Eric to do this. Like, he can change a diaper. It's not that complicated. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that's been taken care of. And then we should send Eric to bed. Uh, good. You're riding. You're swinging. 
you're playing. Everyone's good. They've done their homework, so that's all caught up. Um, should we maybe have Eric go, like, bond with Neoma a little bit more? I feel like that's what we need to do. Because what is their relationship right now? It's pretty good, but I think we can do better. Um, discuss fears. Discuss the Moonwood Collective. I mean, I don't really care about the pack. We already know this. Inside joke. This is so cute. Parenting? Put to bed. Uh, deep thoughts? Share brilliant ideas? I'm just trying to get them to build up their relationship a little bit more. Joke about weird animals. Okay, I gotta check on everybody else. How's Farkas doing? He's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have him take a shower. Don't wait, don't go to sleep. You guys are just, you're being cute. <laughs> Please don't stop being cute. Try to cheer up. See, he can adopt her as a dependent or care dependent, but I don't really want to want that. Console about death. And is there a way for them to um, ask to stargaze? That's always the, the quickest way to build a relationship, so we could try that. I just really want to see Eric put in the effort and, like, put in the time with Neoma. So when he does adopt her, it feels right. It feels like it's been earned. Um, Sabrina, you said I don't think the timing is right. I totally agree with that. I think that there's some storytelling that should take place. Uh, did you finish the book? Oh, no, you're just going to freak out. Um, okay. Werewolf. Uh... You know what? Just go to bed. <laughs> just just go to sleep. It looks like she's about to have her little outburst. Uh, actually, yeah. Um, we'll send Eric to bed and Neoma can go to bed as well because it is 11 p.m. And we've got diapers and bottles everywhere. So get rid of those. Oh, okay. Um, so Tala is having herself like a little party. <laughs> Plague of the Trash. Okay, wait. Did the kids go to bed? Oh, I see. I was th thinking, like, why um, why were we not going at ultra speed? But now I realized that it's because um, Vera is enraged and she transformed. I tried to get her to regain control, but it doesn't look like it worked. Oh, wait. Maybe it'll work now. There we go. I mean, that must be disturbing for that little baby. <laughs> what she just saw. Wait, why are we taking a pregnancy test? That doesn't make any sense. There's no way she can be pregnant. When, no, that doesn't make any sense. They, when they woohooed, she was, okay. <laughs> um, she was still pregnant when they woohooed, so that doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why that option was there, but... That's all right. Um, okay, so Boris, he's sad about something, but I'm not sure what. I'm just going to make him happy because I want them to be happy dogs. Uh, okay. I knew this was coming. Ashina is unhappy. Um, and rock her. Okay, Eric, no, no, no. Just go back to sleep. It's fine. And then I'll have her go back to sleep. And I think we'll like hold off on having another baby. Not in a huge rush. I mean her, how old is Vera? She's still four days away from being an adult. So probably wait for her to get pregnant until after she's an adult, I would say. Eric, what are you doing? Why do you keep waking up? Um, and then how is Eric's relationship with Farkas? Okay, so his relationship with Neoma is, is really good. Uh, but with Farkas, it needs some work. So I think it would be kind of nice for him to, like, take the time to spend with Farkas. Also, he's younger and, I don't know, I feel like he's had maybe more opportunities to establish a relationship with Neoma. Neoma. 
Uh, okay, go to sleep. Wait, no, hold on a second. Why? Why? He keeps waking up. I don't even think it's about the baby crying. He just seems to get up on his own. Um, pack probation. So he's stressed about the whole pack thing. How do we just leave a pack? That's my question. I think we have to go over there. So maybe, well, tomorrow we'll have them both go over there and leave the pack together. Because um, I'm over it. I'm just over the pack thing. I want them to focus more on their families. And yeah, that's all I care about. Okay, she's going to keep sleeping. Um, I'll have Eric get up only because this is driving me crazy. The dogs knocked over the trash can and there are piles of smelly garbage everywhere. Clean this up. Okay, and then I'll have him go to the washroom. Uh, I was thinking a really good way for him to sort of bond with the kids would be, or with Farkas maybe, is to go on like a little like camping trip or something like overnight. I feel like that would be kind of fun to do. Uh, but I mean, it's only Tuesday. It's only Wednesday. We can't always take a um, vacation day if we want. So maybe they could go tomorrow and like go camping at Granite Falls. I feel like that would be kind of a fun thing. What is broken? The sink? I'm replacing it. I don't even care. It's 98 simoleons. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered. What is your problem? You're always enraged. Um, try to regain control. I don't know if it'll work this time. Not so much. Okay. You know what? Just go. Just go do what you want. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, we always got to make time for wolfy things because that is a huge part of their lives. Uh, what is this? Bison stew. Someone really wanted that. Like, it's been brought out of the fridge a couple of times now. Uh, Vera is not able to take care- oh! Yes, she is. Okay. I'm a little shocked. I didn't- okay. <laughs> Why is she able to take care of the baby? But I can't- that is so weird. I can't actually control anything, but she'll do this on her own. It looks like she's about to claw this baby apart. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really weird. She can go and take care of the baby on her own. Um, but I cannot get her to interact. I definitely need a picture of that because it's interesting. Uh, I'm not going to complain, though, because at least something is getting done. Like, she's taking care of her. So that works. Uh, okay, Eric. Let's... What do we want to do with Eric today? Uh, oh, let's fill the dog bowl because that needs to be done. I mean, it's fun. We just can like nobody here has a nine to five job. We can just kind of do what we want and that works. Oh, we should do our gardening. So go over here and sell everything. Uh, the gardening doesn't make us a ton of money, but it, it does pretty good. Uh, this enraged thing goes away in 35 minutes. Please don't snarl at Eric. <laughs> he's doing some chores. Likes gardening? Yes. I'm going to say yes because he's going to be spending his time doing that anyway. So it makes sense. Okay. Well, who knew werewolves could interact with babies? And then yesterday I had her do some writing, but I don't know if she finished that book or not. No, not yet. Okay. Okay. We can work on that. I'm going to have her go grab some leftovers. What are you doing? Push-ups in the rain. I should have known. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Okay. Uh, I don't think anything else really needs to get done. Uh, Boris is happy just playing with his chew toy. Upstairs, I think everything's good too. Um, this couch did get struck by lightning. I kind of like it like that. So I'm just going to leave it for now because also we do not use that couch ever. Uh, I'm going to go have him cook some food. Let's do BLT and I'll keep an eye on him this time because they do randomly decide to stop cooking. Okay. That's one way to do it. <laughs> I don't even care. Just, just whatever. All right, so she is eating that and then I'm going to have her go finish the book that she was writing yesterday. She should be probably close to done. Because she's done like several writing sessions. Wait, 
Did you only make one serving? I swear I said serve lunch. Okay. Whatever. It's too late. Uh, what can we do for fun for him? I, maybe he could do something like... Oh, wait. We, we want to leave the pack. That was That was my goal for the day. And I already forgot about it. So let's have him go over... I'm so torn. Like, do I want to leave the pack? Because it would be cool to have the kids join the pack as well. Oh, now I'm so torn. I mean, Eric is like teetering on the edge of getting kicked out. So if I, I'm changing my mind about that, I should probably be committed to it. Let's invite over this Mia character. See if we can do some wolfy stuff. I don't know, because I feel like, on one hand, I feel like it'd be fun to have all the members of the family join the pack. But on the other hand, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm already struggling with two. That would be my cat. <laughs> Who just jumped in front of my microphone and slid a bunch of papers everywhere. Um, spread beastly rumors. Werewolf pack. I don't know. What do I think? So here's this Mia character. I think we could probably... Um, sniff and introduce. So if she's only, if she's human and not a werewolf, then we could probably do the whole werewolf diplomacy thing with her. Okay. Uh, let's see. Not roommate. Werewolf. Werewolf diplomacy. And then we should be good, right? Okay, we have to do it more than once, apparently, to get to be, like, fully in the clear. Ugh, stupid. <laughs> Ask for blessing to marry. What? That's a weird option. I don't know how I feel about that. That's very odd. Okay, you have got to be finished this book. It's taking so long. Uh, I feel like this is her third or fourth writing session on this book. And there's been many times where I've had her just sit down and write a book in like an afternoon. Okay, so she's finished now. We can go and submit copy to Literary Digest. Does that make you even more money? Um, we'll grant a large amount of royalties which are received daily. Okay, let's do that. And we'll see what we get for this book. Because for the rest, we've just been selling to a publisher. Uh, hopefully the Literary Digest will love Vera's work. Books can only be submitted once a week, but will earn a larger amount of daily royalties in publishing. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.